Hey there guys, I'm um, Dings564 and this continues for Let's Play of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. I uh, reached Dresden, I skipped one day so that I can finish off the ranking up of military and uh, yeah, and like I fought a couple little battles that basically were done before they started. So let's get back into the Citadel. Taxophone, out of nowhere. Huh? Didn't we already... Did I report completion of attacks of out of nowhere? Might not have. Isn't that... Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. I think I should probably report it. And talk to Irabeth. It, that might be the case that I didn't talk to um, Irabeth about it. Commander, please forgive this sudden visit. Anavia sent a messenger for me uh, asking to... S to come immediately. There she is. Who is this? Greetings, Commander. A uh, revered cleric, a muscular black skinned man wearing Hellnice armor, is walking next to Avenia. Despite the differences in height, he is obviously nervous around delicate woman, looking around and biting his lip. Allow me to introduce. Uh, Hell Knight, Ambassad Hell Knight, Ambassador of the Order of the Nail, Trevor Vanik. The Knight salutes. Greetings on behalf of the Order, forgive me. I can st uh, can't stay, duty calls. I have a pressing errand. From headquarters, yes. Very urgent. Solio is silent, his lips are pressed together. He doesn't move, not even, a, not even to breathe, seemingly. The Cleric is staring at the visitor. So your name, name is Trevor Vanik? That's right, I serve the crusade of the uh, cause of the crusade. It must be true, we have to take our guest's word for it. He has no documentation or insignia, confirming his identity. What? What are you what are you getting at? Nothing. Nothing at all. Venia cast a glance at Socio, uh, the priest's mouth is twisted and his fists are clenched. We're happy to welcome you to, to Dresden. That's his brother, right? Uh, Trevor Vanik. Enough! Social lunges at the guest, his face distorted with emotion, and you suspect the cleric is about to throw a punch, but uh, his clenched fists remain lowered. Who are you? How dare you call, call yourself by that name? Scoundrel. Who, me? I'm not scoundrel. People are always bad-mouthing us. Uh... There is a saying: the credit won't, uh, the credit won by a lie only lasts till the truth comes out. Trevor Vanik is a proud knight. I won't, I, I won't put up uh, with slander. So, uh, so you're an imposter? Me? No. Uh, it, it's not true. I swear. So I say, is it, Trevor? Of course not. But, but how does he know that name? And why is he wearing the black armor? And where? Why, why do these words? The cleric voice drops to whisper, and you don't hear it at the end of, of the phrase. Avenia, who is this? A great question, I have no idea. My guys cloaked him, cloaked him uh, when he was trying to threaten a merchant with his so-called or order and get a horse for free. Then he gave a familiar name, so I decided to organize a face-to-face -face with the long-lost brothers. You knew it wasn't Trevor right from the uh, right from the off. You saw Trevor on you. He served in Canabras. Hmm. Of course, but I hope that uh, meeting you would make him drop to the presence and crack. Throw him in prison. Well, he might crack, actually, you know, tell us something. So Sil watches them leave, his fist unclenched, he drops his shoulders. What the? Where did he Where did he come from? And did you hear what he said about truth and lies? The priest frowns. The great one by a lie only lasts till the truth comes out. This is what they say in Ad Adoran. Trevor used to say it often. Of course, one proverb doesn't prove anything, but I feel like 
That imposter know, knows my brother. Oh, Shailen. What's going on? Commander, please, we have to interrogate him. Okay, we'll do. Commander, I'm glad to report that reorganization of our, our army is practically complete. The counterattack and the capture of la 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 la, la Citadel will, will serve as a valid demonstration of our increased military strength. But before we set out, I strongly advise you that our officer are informed on, on the, of the tactical approach we are going to follow on the battlefield from now on. Apart from good soldiers and generals, an army needs a doctrine that states how it intends to win future battles. Personally, I would support a, caution, a cautious balanced tactic, uh, balance tactic of attrition based on the defensive style of warfare. A decisive cavalry charge is the best tactic I know. The demons are bloodthirsty, but they not they're uh, they're not too eager f to die for their cause. If you were to daze them with a powerful strike and shake their confidence, they would choose running for their lives over a selfless stand. We cannot change the fact that our warriors lack uh, the demons' individual might, but our discipline and chain of command are superior. The best way to use it is to maintain the tight formation. We move the foot to soldiers up front, withstand the enemy blow and perform quick crushing counterattack. Well, this is how the Talden Phalanx won their battles. That is how we will prevail as well. No matter, no matter what bright ideas the general has, no matter what strategies uh, they may deceive, uh, devise in advance, in a battle a soldier must know how to act, how to react. If, we were to ch uh, if I were in charge, I would give my officers freedom to act on their own. Initiative instead of hammering particular tactics into their head. And what are the effects then? All trainable cavalry units gain charge ability. Unit gains 1 bonus to speed and 20% uh, bonus damage for 1 round. Until receive unit receives minus 2 penalty to AC for 1 round. Okay. Eldar and Phalanx. All trained, trainable infantry units gain charge ability. Okay. All cavalry and range units gain independence. Plus two to initiative. Maybe. All units gain the tough. Plus two bonus to saving throw against disease and poison. Hmm. Initiative is usually is a pretty good idea, I think. Because, well, we'll be acting first. And that means I can actually throw some spells at them. And our other commanders don't try to force their so-called wisdom on the soldiers. And instead letting let them use their own heads. That's unheard of. Graybell looks on content, on contently at, as Captain Odin grinds his teeth. Well, I believe the military council has reached a decision on all the necessary reforms. All that's left is to put army to, te to the test at uh, the siege of Storm Peak. This battle will show uh, us the worth of all the work we've done. Captain Owen voice quivers nervously of the last words, and for an instant his mask of composure cracks. Well, where is the Storm Peak? Seeing you take notice, he sh uh, shoots you a look of warning uh, that says not now. Okay. Hmm. Where is it? Hmm. Dusk of Dragons on the Cups of the Abyss. I don't want to move the morning seal. No, no, that's not it. That's not it. All right, yeah, I, I need to talk to Irabeth. All right, her, like I don't know what to do with her. Imposter, the wayward. All right, that's uh, okay. Oh. Crusade quest, Storm Peak. In his settle, the, uh, the Storm Peaks, Malala is building new army to unleash on the Crusaders. The commander 
must launch a preemptive strike and gain control. Uh, Storm Peak. What exactly is that? I don't know. All oh, right, Irabeth. I found out the, how the demons uh, snuck up on us. It won't happen again. I've been told you protect you protected us from surprise attacks, and s saved poor fellows who are maimed by demons' rituals. Those those poor lads. What have they become? I hope that the uh, I hope the clerics will be able to heal them, or at least ease their suffering. Okay, see ya. Let's go rest, and after that we'll probably go towards uh, the dragon lair, or like in that general direction. There's the thing that we need to do there as well, right? Uh, okay, we cannot place the parfait. So what can we do? Uh, probably a hearty meal, actually. Because, well, we'll, we'll be traveling and we'll, so many years we'll rest before we reach our so destination anyway, right? So Praise why rest God. ingredients? Not rest, waste. Okay. Off we go, I guess. I was hoping that we would be able to upgrade a little bit more uh, our units or something. Oh, prison. Right. The imposter. Uh, Nora. By the way, Nora, do you have anything to say? No. Actually, I need information. Do you have anything new? No. Well, see ya. Have fun. Let's talk to the imposter. You've never seen social like this. The usual calm, friendly cleric of the goddess of beauty is furious. He's shaking uh, the imposter, holding him by the collar with both hands. Who are you? Who do you know? Uh, what do you know about my brother? Speak, speak, you scum. A brother, huh? The imposter cringes. Yeah, you, you do look like him. Come on, holy man. Give me a dozen lashes. The blood drains from social face. His fingers unclench and he recoils away from the bars. Social, what's wrong with you? It's like a bad dream or an evil fate joke. Please. Help me uh, s uh, make sense of this before I lose my mind. Who are you, really? Uh, the name's Graham. Abadar knows my last name. Okay. He's got it all written down, but it's above our rank to know our lineage. The man lips curls in disdain. How are we connected to the Hell Knights? What's my connection? I serve them. Well, used to. I was a soldier in the Order of the Nail. Extra uh, Potter's chapter. Damn them all. Then I ran away from them. I wasn't cut off to serve like that. I wasn't a knight, nor even a squire, just an infantry. I got sick of getting my back whipped, so I had an idea. I hid the armor at night, and when I got the chance, I just ran. Tell me about Extra Potter's chapter. What's there to talk about? They're scum, just like the rest of the black-clad broods. What was our captain thinking when he got us hired by them? Maybe he hoped they'd... Uh, they'd knight him, or maybe he just wanted money. They have deep pockets. The Order of the Nail, ex ex Extripotter's chapter. The They mostly hunt monsters. You know, dragons, other beasts. Study them, stuff, uh, stuff them. They didn't tell me what they were doing in the world one. Maybe they decided to hunt some distorted beasts who grew tentacles and horse because of demonic scourge. Uh, they, you know, turned into freaks. They do pay well, but they make you work for every coin. If you do anything they don't like, they beat you with a stick or a whip. They don't p pity people at all, even their own, not to mention us. In the years, uh, in the year I served them, uh, the unit shrank by half, so I ran away. I wanted to live too much. How do you know the name uh, Trevor Vanik? 
I was his valet for a year. Polish his black armor, tightened his straps. Uh, it, I was a drudge, all in all. He's evil, that Trevor. A devil of a man. He had me pun uh, punished so many times. A whip for every slip. It is what he'd always say. A whip for every, every slip. You're lying. You're lying, scum. I'll show you. Yeah, 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 you're, you're his brother, all right. <laughs> He's even used the, uh, to bare his teeth like, like you do, you scum. He'd say, if, you, uh, if your ears won't, don't work, let's see if your bag gets the message. That's, that's not true. Biting his lips, Sosil takes a step back. It can't be. <clears throat> Where were you going when Avenia caught you? Wouldn't you like to know? I thought I'd go to Mendif, sell the armor and use the money to keep to keep going. Didn't matter where. Maybe to the River Kingdoms, maybe to Varissa Varicia? I don't care, just as long as it's away from demons and demon fighters. Where is uh, Trevor now? Well the other knights of the pike. I hope they whipped him good for losing his armor. What cleric haven't seen your uh, brother for what cleric? Haven't seen your brother for a long time. Give me a map. I'll show you where the uh, where their camp was when I escaped. They probably haven't gone far. Uh, Sosio turns to you. His teeth are clenched. His hands shaking. Uh, I don't want to believe that Trevor became a Hell Knight. Please, we need to uh, to go there and find for ourselves. Let's go, Sosio. He uh, he's not good. Uh, he's not going anywhere. Sure, go on. Good luck getting there. Oof. Uh, actually, I think I didn't update his spellbook, did I? Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess... Well, um... Any non-good creature within the area of Holy Ward spell suffers falling of ill effects. If the creature HD uh, hit dice is up to your castle level, minus one, it is blinded. If the creature's hit dice is up to your level, minus five, it is paralyzed and blinded. The creature is uh, hit dice is your caster level minus ten. It is skilled, paralyzed, and blinded. <laughs> if it's skilled, why does it need to be paralyzed and blinded? <laughs> Talk about overkill. Hmm. And what if they are higher than my level? I don't know. What, what's the difference between greater restoration? The spell functions like lesser restoration, except that it dispels all permanent and temporary negative levels. Oh, all, not just one. Okay. Afflicting the healed creature, greater restoration also dispel all magical effects, penalizing creature's ability, cure all temporary ability. Okay. Let's try this one over to here. We'll rest before we reach wherever we're going. Summon Granite Elemental. We can change that Poison Breath. Ictum. Any non-lawful creature. Suffers the following effect. Okay, same as this one, but against a lo a lawful. Okay, let's try that. Circle of Clarity. Create a magical emanation in the, uh, that interferes with all illusions within the giving creature... Okay. How about Bestow Curse Greater? Make huge penalties to Constitution or Strength or Dexterity. Sounds good to me. And here, what was that? Death to death destroy undead creatures. Okay. We've got Cat's Grace over there. Let's uh, put in a couple of banishments, maybe. Sounds good to me. And here, raise that uh, probably is a good idea. Like three of them would be enough, considering we usually use it. Use, use up at least a couple of them for rest, I think.
Okay. And what do we do here? Um, how about remove curse? Remove wall. Okay, good enough. Does he have everything uh, equipped? I mean, in terms of equipment, he has inspired wisdom. Okay, okay. Um, okay, let's do this. Uh, he doesn't need anything here. What does this thing do? And it loses a flay of hands fervor and channel. Okay. As far as armor is concerned, do we want to give him that? Said plus one said bonus to dexterity on to attack rolls. Against demons for ten rounds. Okay, we can get inside bonus from the external integrals plus one though. This one. But this one has less armor. So. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll keep this one then. I also probably need to sell all these chain shirts. What is this? Oh, it's a shield, right. Why do I have it? I don't know. Okay, then. Let's go. Oh, do you have any... Um, amulets? I do have a couple of plus ones. That's about it. I guess that's good enough. Yeah, okay, let's go. Uh, in that case, I'll probably take Social with me. <laughs> His name just kind of sounds funny. <laughs> Social. <laughs> Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, how's them? How's Ember doing? Oh, by the way, is everything all right here? If what if I'll talk to her? In people only seem to like sermons. Okay, okay. I guess something will happen eventually there. Okay, let's leave. Oh, wait. I wanted to sell the armor, didn't I? Better do that. So, where exactly is the... I'm assuming it, it's towards the east, right? As well as, like, there's like this... The, the base of the... Uh... The last decided to chip in. You've been taking care of us, Commander. So, we decided to take care of you. Please take this gift. Get yourself a magic ring or a new helmet. Okay. We have pretty good uh, morale, I don't think and nothing will change if I'll take the the money. Uh, so, bulk, bulk selling. Why is this not sold? Um, yeah, I don't think I need this. Uh, I, I do need that, though. Rapiers. All of this. All of that. And this. 
Okay. And off we go. So I'll probably leave the... Um, what's his face? Oracle, Damien Red or something like that. And I will take him instead. <clears throat> He's a melee character, but... I don't think I need to go to the melee range, technically, if I don't really want to. But I probably should keep an eye on him. Um, he should be here, right? Uh, where exactly do we need to go? Okay, that's the dragon one. Nope. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, there's an army here in the our way. Where did they come from? Okay, um, they'll need to go all the way around, huh? Are they, are, are these the ones that are, like, moving? Yeah, it looks like they're trying to move to somewhere. Well, okay, what do we have here? Vents. Treachery. Lord AD reports that a crime has been committed in the Citadel. A few days ago, the night patrol officer Ihrim Klor did not turn up uh, for the guard duty. An unsuccessful search for him in ensued. It was then suggested that Klor has secretly left Dr uh, Dresden and deserted. Circumstances of vanishing demand investigation. Yeah, sure, investigate. Of course. Bird and rubble. Clor's body was found at the walls of Dresden. The nature of wounds leaves no doubt that it was he was stabbed by a man or some someone similar in appearance and build. Rather than the than mold by a demon. Examination of the corpse and the area revealed that Clor turned up <clears throat> to the uh, crime site on his own volition. He then suffered Penetrating wound to the chest, which made him unconscious before being finished off. The attempt at hiding the body seemed negligent. The interrogator concluded uh, that the murderer was in no hurry and mastered the appropriate skills, so must have let the body be discovered intentionally. Okay. So can we do th something about it? I guess not. Okay, um, we're going to need to go in that direction, right? Where are you going, by the way? We're going all the way to Dresden. I'm assuming so. Well, let's travel over here for now. Uh, these guys can move. Let's move them. Okay. Are these guys where are they go? Uh, right, you guys continue on your way as well. Good. And these guys, yeah, continue as well. Let's explore this area. It probably just connects to here, but good to know, I guess. Now continue. Uh, no. Where is this army? Are they just standing there? They're blocking the way. 
Hmm. There's suddenly a lot of these fortifications all over the place. But with this update, but uh, I'm not entirely sure how to get to them. Well, I guess let's move over to here. Um, yeah, sure. Rest. Uh, can we... Okay, put you on there. And we'll change this one to... Uh, actually, it, it's okay if it's hearty meal. Yeah, begin resting. Oh, this guy. Right. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't truly really matter, I don't think. Uh, wait. One of our outposts level... Oh, okay. Closing the ladder. Alright, finance points increase. Good, 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 good. What do we have here? Vagrants. A crowd of destitute, sick, and feeble-minded has arrived in Dresden, and they are asking to be admitted. Their lives are rough, they have no place where they belong, and they wish to die as heroes as the, at the very least, but crusaders do not wish to fight side by side with these uh, uh, vagrants either. Uh, 100 con conscripts? Okay, I guess? No. Crusade morale reduced by 10. Real points income increased by 1. Give them work. Crusade morale reduces by 20. Decision without conflict. Send them to Mendev. Bless the brave pilgrims. Okay, some champions. Uh, set up a, a hospital. Travel morale increased by one, material points income increased by five. You know what? Let's let's do this. Uh, decrease. What do we have here? Glory to the heroes. Outposts. Okay. Yeah. Let's build another. Uh, Strengthening chain of command. Okay. Issue decree here. But I think still. Yeah. We can still do development. So issue development. And let's go. Um, no, uh, you, let's go. Oh, come on. Why did you stop there? I think I cannot get to them before this guy's, like, beat them. Because there's no way to actually go through here other than this, right? Actually, maybe there is. If I'll go over to here. No, yeah, that's fine. Evade. I wonder where this leads. Oh, that leads to Heart of Mystery. I don't think I want to go there just yet. I think I'll go there the last... Um, because we know that's a trap. Okay. I think now we can actually take these guys, yes, and attack this army. Oh, yes. Okay, so I can probably drop this on here and it'll kill most of them. Okay, not bad overall. Uh, just sit tight for now. What did he do? 
Oh, summon someone? Oh, okay. Um, attack these guys. We can we have potential of nearly killing them. Hmm. I think it's better than they, that they attack Hell Knights here. Hmm. Why though? Like, why do you do zero damage here? You know, wait for a second, and you move forward. If they attack, what is better? Like, they attack tankiest people. What? Um. Okay, at least my infirmary is pretty big size now. Can I, like, get rid of these guys here? Perfect. Why are you not doing damage? Like, that's weird. There, that's definitely some sort of a bug. What the hell? Do a lot more damage just yet. Okay, I think we restored every single loss. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's the storm peak. Okay. Good to know. Uh, now we can actually travel to the destination. But I think I will make a cut here and we'll continue in the next episode. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And goodbye.